So I've been TABC certified and have sold alcohol for about 15 years now. For the past two years or so, it's now legal to order alcohol from your house and get it delivered. I can see how this can go so wrong in so many ways for the company, but especially the shopper. I thought I'd make a quick video on how to not get arrested in shopping for and delivering alcohol. Stay tuned to the end where I share a funny video on where the TABC tried to test me and arrest me and how I won. Hey guys, this is Katie Heflin with the Rideshare Guy, and I thought I'd come on here and explain some fun laws and sneaky ways the TABC monitors legal alcohol sales and practices and what people need to know to protect themselves. You know, I took the TABC test uh, with um, Instacart and it was, I, it was just like, okay, yeah, you go over the laws, but there wasn't enough legal information. like. Uh, it wasn't really I feel like it wasn't made as serious as it should be um, because it's it, it's your livelihood and so I wanted to come on here and you know tell you little things you may not know and how to protect yourself now the TABC I live in Texas so the TABC stands for Texas Alcohol Beverage Commission if you're a waitress or anything um, you have to be a certain age and you have to take the test to get qualified to know the laws know the rules you know that uh, so you don't yourself don't get arrested and fined for you know making errors same is different for every state, of course, um, and the laws may be a bit different, but for me, for Texas, it's the TABC, and that's compiled of officers and regulations that just make sure people are, you know, selling alcohol correctly. Making an error with, you know, shopping and delivering alcohol, it can result in you losing your license, paying a huge fine, being jailed for however long you get to see the judge and be bailed. I can just see the TABC running all kinds of stings, especially because how it's delivered to a house. I mean, anyone can make an order who has a debit card and um, I could just see that, you know, they're going to be monitoring this. Within the next few years, we're going to hear of so many arrests with people delivering alcohol legally to underage people. And that's all on us. That's not on the company. Like, yes, the company is going to get a fine, but we are going to get arrested. We, the, uh, the driver, the shopper, we are going to get a loser license. We are going to pay up to $4,000. People have to know how serious it is. Okay. So, say you've never worked as a cashier or a bartender or a waitress or you just have never been in a situation to need to be certified and you've never been in a hairy situation involving alcohol so you just you're relaxed about it and you just assume you know any little mistake you make it may be it's gonna fall on Instacart it's it's gonna fall all on you so there's so many safeguards that we need to put up say that you know you're just you're relaxed you're like whatever I'm delivering to this guy who's you know it says his birthday is 50 years old or whatever and it says leave at the door and you're in a rush you're like oh gosh I have two other orders to deliver let me just leave it at the door put his fake out you know birthday in expiration just make it up and go the problem behind that is that um, it could be a sting. What happens is the TABC will hire, you know, teenagers who are working for them to place an order. You know, they make an appointment. This is all like planned out ahead of time, and they they have them place an order for alcohol. They're gonna they're getting they're smart. Okay, they're you know they're gonna put leave at door. Maybe they'll tape an ID to the door. The thing is, you need to see that person's face. You need to see that it's the correct person who placed the order. You need to see that their that their ID is valid, that they are of age. You can't just see their ID and take off or just make up a birthday because the thing is, it could just be the TABC waiting. As soon as you drop off that order and take off, they're coming right after you. It's immediate. They're not gonna wait like a month or put a warrant out for your arrest. They are going to track you and arrest you wherever you are. There are certain laws in place where they can't try to trick you, so they can't have like a fake ID because we're not face recognition specialists. You know, they have to have an actual ID of a teenager, you know, and he has to be right there and you have to say, okay, I see that you're underage. Um, I am not uh, allowed to sell this to you, so I have to take this back to the store. 
And that is how you pass the test. That is how you will not get arrested. You have to deny them their sale. The leave at the door. This is something, this is exactly what I would have done as a teenager. I would have tried it probably multiple times. Order some alcohol and maybe find someone's ID and tape it to the door and just say, oh, I'm sick leave it at the door in my notes right even if the TABC isn't behind it the parents can come and find you and sue the pants off you I mean you'll still get arrested put in jail all this stuff because you didn't you didn't verify so so I inform the customer before I even leave the store that even though their notes say to leave at the door because they ordered alcohol I will need to see their face and their ID so I let them know that ahead of time so we don't have this whole thing when I get there and I have to wait 10 minutes for them to come to the door. In the past, you had to have a customer sign for alcohol. Now, uh, Instacart has suspended that. So you don't have to have them sign. You just have to type in their birth date, expiration. I think you can also scan their ID. That doesn't work on my phone for some reason. So I just manually type in their expiration and their birth date and you are good to go. If you don't think it's them in the ID, you're legally allowed and required to deny them uh, their alcohol and leave if they don't answer and show their face and they're not responding to your texts or calls that hi I need to see your ID and your face you're gonna have to go through all the steps on the app it's like wait one minute call the customer wait five minutes call the customer service I mean it's it's a long process it can be and it's really annoying I know but I mean you're just gonna have to do that so you don't get in trouble so you know and then you'll have to return the alcohol to the store in the past I guess Instacart didn't know exactly the laws the liabilities but so basically shoppers were getting cases of alcohol for free if the customer wasn't answering seemed really cool back then but nowadays we legally have to return it to the store we're not allowed to keep it after you speak to customer service make sure you ask for a bump for returning to the store I think it's like sometimes five to ten dollars sometimes they are just gonna give you the runaround I always ask for a bump it just depends um, who you're speaking to and if it's a good day or not this is my worst nightmare and I've yet to have to do it in my 15 years thank God but if your customer is quite obviously uh, intoxicated like they're slurring they're barely able to stand up you know they're belligerent all of that you are legally required to deny them their alcohol sale you have to say I'm sorry I can't sell this to you or make up an excuse you don't have to be honest to them just oh my god my car's on fire and then take off you know because um, if you sell them if you give them their alcohol you are now liable if they were to you know say oh I'm gonna go now drive to go visit my friend and they were to get in an accident it's part of the responsibility is on you I mean that's just part of the the laws with alcohol sales a lot of times what will happen is defense attorneys will who are trying to get their client off will come after the person who sold the alcohol and um, put the guilt on them you know so it's it's very serious and it happens all the time and so yeah we that's why bartenders when the person is acting a little loopy or they're falling over they're like sorry dude you know you're cut off because they're responsible for that they can lose their livelihood um, you're gonna call customer service you're gonna let them know that the customer was super intoxicated that you did not feel comfortable making the sale and again legally Instacart has to back you on this because it is your butt on the line not theirs and it's just the law we're allowed to deny alcohol to anyone we don't feel comfortable delivering to but now if a person who is clearly 40 and older you know they're obviously of age and they don't have their ID I will sometimes just say okay what's your birthday what's your expiration if I'm not gonna spend 30 minutes on a phone call I'm not gonna you know I just um, I just kind of use my common sense and my discretion. So TABC officers can only try to trick you in certain ways. They can't be so sneaky to the point where it's almost entrapment. They can't use like fake IDs or, um, you know, have someone who looks like they're clearly, you know, looks like they're 25, but they're 14. They can't do that. The person, the teenager or the minor trying to buy alcohol has to clearly be um, a minor. I mean, it has to be pretty evident that they're a teenager. They're their ID has to be correct they have to be showing an underage ID and the thing is a lot of people will get arrested because they'll glance at the ID and say oh okay you're fine because they have one just immediately assuming oh they have an ID so they're good why would they show me an underage ID it doesn't make sense right 
but that's how the TABC stings arrest a lot of people. So you have to actually verify it. The TABC is not trying to screw you. They just want to make sure that you're following the correct procedures, that you're not selling to minor, you know, selling to super drunk people who may get themselves in a bad situation that you're not leaving alcohol at the door without verifying. So back in the day, um, I was a seasoned cashier at Whole Foods Market and you know, it's just another boring day and I'm just seeing people, you know, my brain is numb. These kids come through my line and they looked about 15 or 18, but they had a six pack. Okay, I just need your ID and they're like, you know, they kind of get defensive. They're like, oh man, but it's non-alcoholic and I'm like oh I should just give it to them thankfully my self-preservation kicked in and I was like no I don't know why that is I was kind of like oh, freaking out for a second I was just like look I don't know why it's not it's asking for your ID it's not alcoholic it's not gonna get you drunk but I just can't sell this to you if you want you can try another cashier but I'm not gonna sell it to you and they kind of were like oh man whatever and they you know they took off so I was really freaked out by that. I had done this test probably seven times at this point and never once had it come up, uh, oh, non-alcoholic beer is also illegal to sell to minors. I never once, I mean, I just never even thought about it. I truly almost overrid, over rode the, the computer and just let them have it. How would that not be part of the training? About a week later, my boss got an email from the, you know, the TABC saying, okay, we came in, we did an operation on your store and, you know, so-and-so passed the test. And also, what teenagers want non-alcoholic beer? You know, unless they're like doing a project, I don't know. It's, it's weird. Just to protect yourself, at the end of the day, your butt is on the line. Instacart is not on the line. It's on you. Okay, guys, thank you so much for watching. If you're interested in signing up with Instacart, our referral link is down below. We make new videos every week. And if you have any comments or questions, leave them below or email us. Thank you guys so much. Be well, be blessed.